uh, and has been one of the best Lucases in Smash 4. Also, I remember last summer seeing him take a set off of Saj in this very matchup, and that kind of spawned a little bit of discussion, like maybe Lucas is not so bad against this character. Yeah. I mean, it's it's always been that, that common train of thought is like, if you got a good grab and good grab stuff you can do yeah. to her, it's, it's not too bad, and especially being that it's like a tether grab but with normal grab frame data in terms of the recovery, definitely something that uh, Lucas can throw out more and find rewards for at every stage of the game. Uh, but that's assuming he's going to be able to be on stage, though, and that's one of the main strengths that Lima has is that his edge guarding is so scary. And so <laughs> is his disrespect factor. He makes you feel like an idiot. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> and Mekos not even remembering how to angle this up B after 10 years of playing Lucas. I think that might be the Lima factor coming in a little bit. It's that intimidation, yeah. The, just the ability for him to exist off stage for so long with so many different lethal tricks to toss out to bear. Not going to find out a grab, though. Finally, Mekos finding his way on stage. Has a whole lot of ground to make up, though. It's gonna Zare into nothing, into get grab. Yeah, Zare into get grab. That's that's unfortunate. Yeah, you gotta make sure you're doing that right before you land on the ground. And even then, I don't think Lucas's true combos. Ooh, but speaking of true combos, that one will always work. Well, not always. Of course, you got Smash Guy at your disposal, but yeah. if you're all the way at the top of the screen, you might as well kiss that stock goodbye. Yeah, and uh, Lima started off so so smartly too at the beginning of the combo. Right, he blocked the Zare and just knew my down tilt reaches Lucas at this range immediately popped him up and got that kill confirmed for it. So looks like Lima knows exactly what he's allowed to punish in this matchup, coming into this very prepared. And uh, Mekos having to think quite carefully about what's coming up next, especially with the way that game went like that. That was kind of a bloodbath. That was, uh, I think, one of our most lopsided, maybe our most lopsided game. No, 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 because we had Elegant against that Robin. Yeah. Yeah. Which was still closer because he threw a stock on <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, technically correct, yes. All right, let's see, though. What does Mekos have for this? I know he's uh, better than that performance with Indicate, for sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, he has a win on Nairo. Like, nobody beats Nairo and, like, isn't good at this game. Oh, you never know. Oh, he finds that footstool, though. This is the beginning of something, perhaps. Gets 30% and another grab situation. Well, only the Sour Fair, so cut the damage a little bit short, but still... Solid confirm. Either way, you see how hard Lucas had to work for that, how many footstools went into it. And we're going to see Bayonetta pretty Get much frozen? pull off the same thing immediately, yeah, once she's not frozen. Oh, here we go, though. Another confirm off the top. Yeah, it's going to find it on the second Witch Twist. Lima just casually walking to the ledge, doing the uh, probably the best ledge hangoff animation. I'd have to say so. Samus in a very close second, though, the teetering. Yeah. Surprisingly melodramatic. And here we go, Lima just hanging out on that ledge, tossing out those witch times, and still being able to just retreat all the way across to the other side of the stage with two afterburner kicks. Oh, Lima just trying to end it all right there. Yeah. I like that too, that actually was a really cool setup. Oh, and this is go- oh! oh! But still, the tenseness of that situation, forcing Mekos' hand and not getting just the right angle. Mekos is gonna fall regardless, Lima taking that 2-0, but dang. Lima literally making this man forget how to recover. I'm not sure what I just saw. That was that was pretty crazy. It's the the new blood in this game is scary, man. Like, it is. They're, they're, why like why is it all the new blood people like kill people so fast? That's like the biggest difference I've noticed compared to them and like all the veterans from yeah, Brawl. I, I feel like the veterans still have that brawl 